Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have 1 Thessalonians 1, 2. And it says, we always thank God for all of you, mentioning you in our prayers. So, just remembering to always pray for others. Um, I always have a prayer list and I have people in mind and God, God knows, you know, so... Anyway, all right. Off the hook, I don't have a whole lot. Um, I have been working to get some things done. I don't feel like I've made much progress, so I'll be honest with you. Um, so this one I haven't even picked up. It's not even high on my priority list. Um, and it's the wavy one. Oops. And I have not picked it up in a while. So I'm on the second skein of yarn. And we'll see. My goal is this week to, and for the next month or so, to work every evening instead of coming in and doing spinning and other things and sewing or whatever. I'm going to try and designate like Saturday as my sew day because... I'm really getting into it, and I'm putting more energy into sewing than I am crocheting, and I've got things I need to get done. So, um, yeah. All right, then I've got this one, and I worked on it a little bit. It's making progress. Uh, I have it upside. I don't know why I've held everything upside down. Um, maybe two or three rows. I haven't really been on it either uh, and the truth is, is these are projects that I don't have to have they're just projects that I've started for a bag uh, and so yeah and, and I kind of go in spurts if you've ever followed us you know I'll, I'll sew for a while and then I'll crochet for a while um, crochet is the one thing that's constant and every evening you know I try to and these two dogs are just, they're on a rampage. My ear is itching. I've got sinus drainage. Okay, so, as you know, uh, I got this in. Okay. I don't know. I think we talked about this last week. I haven't even gotten to open it up. I mean, I have. I felt it. I, whatever. But I haven't gotten started on it, and I am behind. So, I am trying, if you remember, I got this one last month, and these are very completable in a month. I mean, it is what it is. But I got this one last month, and oh, there went my yarn. I followed the pattern, and I didn't get gauge, and it didn't come out right. And so, anyway, I have started remaking and doing, I changed a stitch. And so I have gotten this far and I ripped out all of it. So yeah, having to redo, yes, I have definitely taking me a little bit longer. So um, I plan on having this well underway this week. I plan on working on, on it every evening. Um, but I haven't even gotten one, through one skein. Um, the the issue is, is this pattern is made too complicated by using a stitch that's not necessary. Um, and here's the thing. If you use a really complicated stitch, a lot of times the naked eye for someone who, unless you're an expert, isn't going to know the difference in the stitches. So... I've got people that will look at this stitch, and, and this is a linked double crochet. The truth of the matter is, half double crochet looks a lot alike to most people. So, why take all the time and all the, especially when I'm giving them away, and then to not get gauge, you know. It, <laughs> Don't overcomplicate things, you guys. There are some great stitches out there and, and some very complicated stitches. 
And yes, I can do them. Does anyone notice when I do? No. I can make the same two items. And, and I might have to do this as a challenge. I can make the same two items with a linked double crochet and a half double crochet and get the same results. Worm, knock it off. Um, being a little butt to his brother. Uh, but I can get the same effect. I can get the same look. And no one but an expert is going to know the difference. So the truth of the matter is, is while it's great to know all these wonderful stitches and all that, it's honestly keep it simple because no one but you is going to notice. Um, and there, the truth is, is there's nobody going, Hey, you too. Stop. Hitch. There is no one looking at this and going, Oh, that's great. They're just seeing the weavy. And yeah, there's other stitches I could do and blah, blah, blah. But this one gets the job done. Equal, you know, it's going to turn out just fine. And I could do, there's a lot of um, different stitches you could do for it to make that wavy look. Keep it simple. My granny taught me that you could learn all the complicated stuff in the world. But simple is easier, faster. And most people don't appreciate how hard the stitches are. So um, even if you have hard stitches, the look, people just don't notice it. So, um, yeah, just going to keep it simple. Uh, I'm not going to work the stitches the way, you know, a link double crochet doesn't look any different than a half double crochet. So... To the layman's eyes, okay? To an expert, yes. If you are competing for crochet or you are, yes, they'll know. But as far as RJ looking at it or um, the person that's going to buy it looking at it, they're not going to know what stitch that is and they're not going to care. They either like it or they don't. Anyway, so I've got those I'm working on. This I'm behind. If another one shows up, I know I said this last week, um, and I said it over the whole pink pillow thing. If the pink pillow shows up, you know, anything like that again shows up, I'm not going to do it. I don't mind the little blankets because those I throw over my own lap. I know they're meant to be baby blankets, but I get cold. <laughs> I throw them over my lap and they become lap blankets. So, and I don't mind having those around. As you can notice, there used to be the log cabin one on the back of this. Took it to the den and last night had it over my lap because I was cold. So, um, I did do a bunch of uh, sewing, but not what you think. I had a birthday gift to get ready. Um, I... I think that's really all that I have. RJ, let's let's just go down the list that I can remember. Off the hook, um, the duck in the barn stalls is the duck, and he's still out there. Um, we're mowing, and he's eating grass, and he's going to town. He loves it out there. Uh, it rained, raised the pond back up, and there's a little fish. Quit! He's trying to eat my crochet. And, uh, anyway, so the duck is out there. Hitch, of course, is being Hitch. Quit. Quit. Go lay down. Um, but anyway, it's just being a butt. He's literally trying to steal my crochet bag. I don't know. He's crazy. Uh, so let's see. We mowed a lot the last two weeks. Um, trying to think of what else we got to house cleaning, sewing. Um, I got a new plant and that can be seen on Facebook. Uh, 
trying to think of what else. RJ is on the road for a week. Um, he has had, um, so the owner of the horse that was hurt in the bad weather came and got him. Um, of course, I went up there last week and got everything back together, which is good. Uh, then he left this week. He, last weekend, he placed a few places. Um, but this week, I think he is in Kansas and Oklahoma. Like, there's a couple of them riding around together. Um, they've made a whole route of it. Um, but other than that, he's really, he's got everything under control. Um, I say he's got everything under control. As much as RJ can have it under control. Uh, but really just the whole weekend I was busy, but I didn't feel like I got anything done. Um, I did sew a little bit on Saturday, Sunday, I stripped my bed and did all that stuff. Um, I am starting to go through the totes. Now I am getting back in that tiny house mind and I've got to get back out there and get that worked on. Uh, so I am starting to stash bust, which you knew, but I'm also going through and cleaning out the little bitty scraps. I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm not going to sew them. You know, I used to keep every scrap there was. Now I'm being realistic with it and it needs to be, you know, a little bit bigger of a scrap. <laughs> and so, um, I have decided to start, um, putting together like a little quilt, just a little throw, you know, extra material. Um, I am going to assign every piece of fabric in there. I'm trying to, to downsize my fabric. Um, my yarn is pretty much under control. It's not empty. Don't get me wrong. I have a couple of skeins back there in case I have to throw a project together or I have to, you know, but I don't have a huge stash. I have probably a dozen skeins, if that. So, yeah, that will lovely in a tote that's why I don't want these to back up because I could throw this back there and put it in the tote as a you know a thing but I'm trying not to so um that's where that's at uh and I won't start the blanket one until at least these two are done the golden and then the kit from last month so those two have to be done before I'll start the blanket. But really there's not a whole lot going on. Mowing, um, housekeeping. It was kind of a blah week, you know. So there is quite a bit in the sewing section. So if you tend to watch those, you might want to take a peek at that because I did, I, I had a reason that I had to get something done. So, um, yeah. All right. I will let you off here. I will talk at y'all later. Say a prayer for RJ that he's safe on the road and his friends. Uh, and I will see y'all next time. See you in the sewing section. Thursday. <laughs> Bye.